Hello, I'm Father Rich Bozzelli, the pastor of St. Bernardine's Roman Catholic Church. Located in Edmondson Village in West Baltimore, we celebrate our faith in Jesus Christ within an African-American Catholic tradition. The parish, as we now know it, is the legacy of our beloved late pastor, Monsignor Edward Miller, who took a primarily white parish in decline in the 1970s and built it into a vibrant urban church of today. We came in and took what was traditionally white Eurocentric music that was used in masses, even in black churches, and we came in and we introduced, you know what, we are black people. Can we, may we use our own music in order to enhance what we're doing? been here for 54 years. When I was eight and first came here, it was of Caucasian persuasion. We were one of the first African-American families to come here. We were asked to sit in the back pews because there were so many of us. I have eight sisters and brothers, so it was 10 of us. My father, uh, didn't that did not set well with my father. So every Sunday he would bring us to the front of the church and the way he explained that to the children was that it made us closer to Jesus and that's what we needed to be closer to Jesus. I have watched the church change from that church that made me feel I should sit in the back of the church at eight to the point I am now at 62 where I feel extremely comfortable sitting in the front of the church because that makes me very close to Jesus. Here at St. Bernardine's we worship with joy and purpose. We support our youth, young adults, elders, and families with children. And we reach out to our neighbors facing the benefits and challenges of an urban environment. I'm a Eucharistic minister here at St. Bernardine's and I distribute the body and blood of Jesus Christ. It is very important to me, but the most important aspect of it is distributing to the disabled, going around to those people that can't physically come up and receive. And just go around to them and give them to make sure that they are receiving the body and blood of Christ. And when the people come in to the church, many needs, many issues, but I've always found a joy because I think that after our ministry is over, members have found a sense of solace and a sense of comfort. Today we have about 900 households on our books, which makes us one of the largest African-American Catholic parishes in the Archdiocese of Baltimore. We continue to rise up, we continue to serve, we continue to reach out. Everyone has a gift, everyone has a story. And we think at St. Bernardine's, those stories help make this a very strong church. You have something to give to your community and to your family and to your church, and we could use that here. We're a place that really invites, really embraces, and really loves having people be a part of our community. Uh, we have many things that will engage you as well as your family, uh, whether it's children in our Sunday school program, young people in our vacation Bible school during the summer, or even in our many uh, Bible study programs that we have here at St. Bernadine's. Uh, many people are often looking for a place where they can say, you know, this is home, this is where family will be, this is where I know I can be prayed with and prayed for. And so they really are embracing a place like St. Bernadine's because they know that this is a place that will do just that, will give them those things that they need. Uh, there are people all over the place who are searching. They're searching for truth, they're searching for meaning, they're searching for love. And uh, sometimes we think we can sort of argue them into the church theologically. And that does happen on occasion. But most of all, people are attracted by the love and the engagement and the spirit of service 
of the worshiping community. Usually the worshiping community is the best ambassador for the church. And I would say to someone thinking about it, check out a place like St. Bernadine's. I am an assigned deacon from the Archdiocese of Baltimore for St. Bernadine's. Some of the things I do here, I can do baptisms, officiate funerals and weddings, and also preach. And I do a lot of other activities in the community for the church. We invite you to come and experience what we have experienced, to know what we know, that God is indeed good, that God is good all the time. And if the Spirit so leads you, we invite you to join us as we strive to build the kingdom of God right here in our wonderful city of Baltimore. God's peace and love be with you.